In this video, you will learn how to configure a machine platform and use it for exporting a test build setup. Load a project in ATU and import an input geometry. ATU calculates toolpaths, which can be seen in the preview window. No machine information is required so far. Open the test build dialog. No machine or build platform is available. The test build requires a platform configuration in order to place the parts on the machine's build platform. In the main menu, go to View and open Machines. No machines are listed here. We must either add or import a machine. Select Import Machine to open the Import dialog. This is the list of all available machines in NetFab. You can select any number of machines to import the settings to ATU. This time, just select the generic metal powder bed machine. Open the new machine entry by clicking the edit button while the machine is selected. Not all information can be imported from NetFab. Set the recoder direction and the build process manually. The dimensions of the default build platform has been imported. But the platform is lacking no build zones. Now select the platform and click the edit button. Set a custom name for the platform. Select the box build zone. Modify the dimension and the corner radius. Add a new circle shaped zone. This will become our first no build zone. Drag the circle with the mouse while holding the shift key to move it around. Release the shift key and drag to resize the circle. Change the type to no build zone. Move the no build zone to the bottom left corner. Enter the exact values for the position and radius. Duplicate the zone and move it to the top left corner. In this way, a no-build zone can be positioned in each corner of the platform. Go to Settings. Enter the correct height of your machine's build volume and the time for recoding. Copy the platform and edit this copy. Simply change the radius of each no build zone so that we have a slightly different platform. Open the test build dialog again. Now there is a machine selected and we can switch between the two platform configurations. With this, the test build can be properly positioned on the machine's platform and the file export can be done. Thanks for watching this video.